everybody and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jess and today's video is going to be a very chatty get ready with me style video. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. I haven't even done a makeup video in general in a long time. I'm super super excited to just sit down and take some time this morning to chat with you all, catch you guys all up on some things that are going on in my life and some massive different and some massive things that are going on right now. I need to start off by doing my skincare. So I'm just gonna use my typical serums. I'm using a salicylic acid, it's 2% salicylic acid and CESA um, serum. And then I'm also gonna use a hyaluronic booster serum. I'm also gonna use a CeraVe moisturizing lotion for very dry, um, for dry to very dry skin under my eyes. And like, if my skin feels dry in general, I'll just use it all over my face. Then I've got my Bondi Sands Facial SPF 50 and Vaseline for my lips. I have been working on quite a few videos behind the scenes recently um, and I have mentioned quite a few things in videos but I haven't really, I think I've either edited them out or I haven't really expanded upon what's been going on. So some of you, if you guys watch my like vlog style videos, um, my week in a life videos and things like that, then you will know that I was touring properties for myself and my partner, Luke. Um, I was trying to tour properties whilst I was on placement. It was ridiculously stressful, if anyone's curious, trying to teach full time, plan my lessons, write an assignment and tour properties, um, especially because most estate agents close around, you know, five. Most estate agents close at five. A couple of them do close at six, I learned in this experience. Um, but most close at five so trying to get to like another town over in rush hour just wouldn't happen for me and I would have to just not take a viewing on a property that we liked because I couldn't get over there in time. I've been working really hard behind the scenes looking for a place. Um, myself and Luke have been kind of coordinating a little bit to view to properties together um, but the exciting news is moving vlogs will be coming your way because yesterday morning I officially signed, or should I say, me and Luke officially signed our property contract. I am so excited. I am unbelievably excited. Mine and Luke's property, our rent starts, we can move into our new property on the 5th of July. So when I'm filming this, it is two weeks away exactly to when we can move into the property and I'm just so unbelievably excited. Like I can't tell you guys how A, relieved I feel and B, excited I feel. Like I feel so excited. Now I've been keeping this secret for a month. So we found out a month ago um, that this, that we were accepted for this property. I almost cried literally you can see it in the first moving vlog which is already filmed and edited we have known for a month that we're moving but it's all touch and go really when you are signing the papers and everything i didn't want to release anything or say anything in my previous videos or anything like that because there's like always a possibility that for some reason your referencing doesn't go right and then you for some reason can't take the property or you know some sometimes the or the landlady slash landlord isn't happy to let you rent you know all of those things and I didn't want to upload anything talking about it until we had signed the final contract and we knew the property ow, and we knew the property was ours um yeah so we are moving into a one bed semi-detached house we are renting for the next year or two um until we can hopefully get a mortgage but this foundation looks great oh that was the bare minerals bare pro matte foundation i haven't worn it since like <laughs> last summer so yeah that looks great it's matching my skin perfectly i was worried it was going to be a bit orange so that's really good that it's matching my skin nicely also something that you guys may not know me and luke have been dating for almost three years um but we were best friends before that. Like we were really, really close friends before we started dating. Um, like he was my friend during my whole I hate men period or I hate boys period or I don't want to date period. That era after I was really hurt by someone else. 
um he was there for that whole period and he was just like a really close friend of mine and then fully we like you know fell for each other and started becoming something more than friends and I think you know it was a big risk for both of us like both of us were nervous because we didn't want to lose the friendship that we have because the friendship that we had and we still have was so it meant so much to me and I think both of us felt the same way like our friendship to each other meant a lot to both of us I'm taking my multivitamin because I just remember that I forgot to take it this morning but yeah we've been dating for almost three years and we have never well we have when we've gone on holidays and things like that but we have pretty much for our whole three-year relationship <laughs> been sharing single beds so in Luke's family home he has the smaller room which fits a single bed um so we sleep in his single bed if we ever if I stay over at his we stay in his single bed um in my hometown home in my room I'm sure you guys know I have a single bed so we've been sharing a single bed in my uni house we have a single bed in my first uni accommodation I had a single bed like we've been sharing a single bed our whole relationship so one thing that I'm super excited about which is so like I don't know if people call this um minor or like weird bizarre one thing that I'm so looking forward to is sharing a double bed I'm just excited to have a double bed in general but I'm also excited to share it with like literally one of my favorite people ever sorry I'm using Maybelline Age Rewind and I've never been a huge fan of it I'm not gonna lie I don't didn't really understand the hype but I want to try and like ease it up because it is getting old in my collection that concealer yeah I am so excited to move and that is also now that I can explain what the bloody hell is going on behind me we have a broken down calyx unit if you remember in my room at home i had a calyx unit i will insert a picture if i can find one on the ikea store um that's what the unit looked like um i also have pink boxes in them but those boxes are literally destroyed so i have now gotten rid of them and i'm going to use a bigger fluffier brush and take a light layer and i'm just going to tap it the trick is to tap your powder if you don't want it to move your foundation and products underneath tap tap don't wipe the only place that I like swipe is down my neck but talking about the phone call that I was talking about earlier going back to where I was talking um this hair on my nose but yeah because of the move the other girls in the uni house are moving as well um I've known for a very very long time that we weren't continuing the letting on the uni house um I've known since December or November of last year because of that um we've got to cancel like our wi-fi bill we've got to cancel our wi-fi bill now that's fine however I'm just worried about like cancellation fees because it will be a bit early that we're leaving the contract I'm gonna try using the Kami X Revolution Make Magic palette because I haven't used this in a very long time. So I just wanna see if I can make these shades at the top of the palette are incredible. And I really wanna use this color, I think, today. So I'm gonna use that to do an eyeshadow look today. I haven't used this palette in a very long time though. So this eye look come out very different to how I wanted it to come out. So yeah, I kinda of like have to cancel that. I don't kind of, I have to cancel that. Um, so I've been working on that this morning. I've kind of been putting it off because I'm not gonna lie, the Wi-Fi providers that we were with, when I first called them up, they were so rude. And I'm, well, actually I shouldn't say they. The person who was helping me was very rude. And I ended up actually just applying for the internet online because it was just really, really rude the way some of the things that were said were just rude and inappropriate. So now I'm just a bit concerned that they're gonna have um like a cancellation rate because where me and luke are moving to the wi-fi the wi-fi that we have at the uni house is not there basically there's no wi-fi that this wi-fi company does not work at the uni house but it does mean that me and luke are not going to have wi-fi for maybe like two to three weeks for the first two to three weeks that we're in the house because we'll be sorting out everything and I mean, I have loads of 4G. I can't upload on the 4G, but we do. This is the positive side of us moving on the 4th of July, uh, 5th of July. Um, <clears throat> is the fact that we have the uni house until the 
24th of July. So our last junior house payment is on the 25th of June. Move out day officially is the 24th of July. So I will still have like keys and access to this property um, until then. <laughs> I mean, I probably won't come back that often. I mean, of course, I'm going to come back at the nearing the end to do like the proper clean of the house and everything to make sure everything's like up to standards before I hand in my keys. I can, st I can still come back and use the Wi-Fi basically. It's like I'm cancelling the Wi-Fi, but like they'll probably say that we can hand it, like I'll probably get rid of it on like the 23rd of July, like the day before me that out or like a couple of days before actually just to be safe. So we're going to be moving Luke's stuff over this upcoming week and I have started another moving vlog. So moving vlog one is kind of unexciting because I actually started it to be a normal weekly vlog and then I got the call to say that they had accepted our offer on the property and they were happy for us to come in, uh, like, you know, sign papers and do the referencing and check, do our right to, right to rent checks, um, which I literally was almost crying. I have the reaction clip um, in that vlog. So if you want to see like my reaction after months of stress, um, definitely clip on that video because it is I actually think it's actually quite wholesome I wasn't going to leave it in but Luke convinced me that you know it'll be great to look back on and I do agree it would be really nice to look back on like this is like my first week of having nothing to do like I've decided that I'm taking the last two weeks of June off so I have been filming non-stop because I there's no one in the uni house right now and obviously I know with moving, I'm probably going to want to have a couple of videos pre-edited and pre-scheduled to go up. Try and squeeze the moving content into July. So I might do like a double upload month this month. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. We'd like to see more videos from me and I'll get you guys all in my next one. Bye!